My name is Mohammed Mostafa Vinasab, and I'm the park ranger here at St. Edward State Park. The seminary building at St. Edward State Park was used as a seminary for the Sulpician Order of the Catholic Church. It was built in 1932. It took uh, approximately six months to construct the entire 90,000 square foot building. The park was acquired from the Catholic Church in 1978, um, signed in order by Dixie Lee Ray to make it as a state park. This is the first floor hall, main hallway, goes from the dining hall through all the classrooms on the first floor. And all the glass in the windows are, are original float glass, and when repaired, we repair them with the original float glass. These are some of the facilities within the kitchen at St. Edward, vegetable steamers on the left, and the soup pots on the right where they would cook the large vats of soup for the seminarians. These are the original refrigerators. They were originally ice boxes. This is the original potato peeler that still sits in the kitchen. 1930s, uh, Archbishop O'Day, who had contracted to build the seminary, bought a shipload of mahogany and had it sent here and all the wood was milled on site, so all the molding and the doors and the windows and any piece of wood within the building is, is actually solid mahogany. And this is one of the doors in a priest quarters uh, made of solid mahogany. This is an interesting thing we found in the priest quarters on the upper floors. Um, these stains in the wall are actually nicotine. Uh, apparently the priest smoked a lot, and um, when the rooms were repainted and then the paint cracked and it gets a little bit of humidity in the room, the nicotine will ease out of the paint through the cracks and it kind of looks weird. When it was in full capacity, each floor had about 100 to 125 boys staying, up to three to four boys per room. And a lot of the school tables and chairs are stored into this building in piles. This is one of the slide out tables in the science classroom in the basement. One day we decided to pull one out and flip it over and under every single one of them have 70 years of script and comments and writings and designs and this is just one of them that we found when we pulled it out. This is the grand stairway uh, from the first floor looking up. We do get a lot of requests to film movies here and this is actually a real popular shot. The exit signs are 1930s era art deco signs. They don't, are not operational at this time, but we still have all the original clocks in the building. This is the Carol Ann Wald uh, Memorial Pool. It was built for the seminarians in 1969 and 1972. The pool is currently operated by West Coast Aquatics um, and is a 25 yard, six lane pool that's open to the public seven days a week. This room is the main dining hall. This is where the seminarians would have eaten all their meals and served by the nuns. Rarely did the priest eat with the boys. Um, they had their own dining hall to eat. This room is open to the public. It's available for reservations 11 months in advance. One of the most coveted jobs by the boys during the school year would be, two would be picked each year to be the bell ringer and they would go up and ring the bell on the hour and at noon and for special events. And it can still be rung and he almost heard all the way down to Kenmore.